Hi, welcome to a book recommendation podcast. This is Saudia Parveen, and today we are going to review the book Niyati Nati: The Ultimate Justice of Karma by Aruna Shabhya. Destiny and its significance in human lives, on the whole, is always respected. Taken into consideration while making important decisions, as well as considered the most powerful in front of any force. The same goes for making of people's life-changing decisions as well as working without any anticipation of the past or the future. The same effect of destiny has its play in Aruna Shapia's novel Niyati Nati: The Ultimate Justice of Karma. In addition to writing other forms of writing including one in the Hindi language too, she takes up the theme of explaining destiny, its role in shaping people's life, the decisions as well as the events that happen when it pulls the strings. The novel has the interplay of destiny, life, the choices people make and the consequences they face eventually. As a novel of its time, Niyati Nati: The Ultimate Justice of Karma addresses issues that are universal in nature and have a wide relevance. True to its title, Niyati Nati: The Ultimate Justice of Karma depicts an interesting cover image that intrigues the readers as well as makes them wonder about what the book has in store for them. Karmic destiny is the idea that our life is the result of the decisions we make and the actions we take. It suggests that destiny is created through the accumulation of choices and the consequences of our actions, rather than predetermined by divine power. The idea finds frequent references through Niyati Nati, the ultimate justice of karma, through Vivek's life, all that he goes through, and the resultant decision he makes thus. In Niyati Nati, the ultimate justice of karma, the author examines the concept of karma and destiny in detail, drawing on a variety of spiritual and philosophical sources to explore the role of choice and consequences in creating our life paths. They argue that while our actions shape our destiny, we can still influence our future by making conscious, mindful decisions in the present. While the narrative swings its actions amongst the metropolitan and non-metropolitan cities of India, the author successfully connects the readers to the different places through her references and understanding of life as it exists in the places. Whether it is the never-stopping nightlife of Delhi or the life of Haridwar, where bedtime is between 8 to 9 p.m., this roots the book deeper into the reader's mind and builds a connection with their hearts. The author writes the book from the point of view of both a tourist and a resident at the same time. This is one of the exceptional rare features found in any book. It it can also be considered the Niyati Nati, the ultimate justice of karma by Aruna Shapya, is a work of social relevance as it discusses the critical issue of human trafficking and its effects on the sufferers in the whole. The book touches the reader's heart and provokes the thoughts, which also makes them ponder over the solution to the problem that lays ahead. Hence, its relevance raises on a large level. The author also books at how the level in karma and destiny has been impressed in different cultures throughout the story in Niyati Nati, the ultimate justice of karma. Whether it is Vivek's mother observing destiny, exerting its control when he chooses to walk the path of his father, or his actions, which carry the impressions of his father's fearless style, the author creates a nuanced and depth exploration of this ancient idea. The reasons are similar. as well as different but the effect of destiny is pervasive and visible in both times the readers notice this effect equally closely and hence are engrossed in the book throughout the time it finishes since the book is available in both hindi and english versions it makes sure to reach out to as many readers as it can develop a connection that will also make the book a recommended reading not just for the ones who read it but also in the circle The Atmanati the Ultimate Justice of Karma is recommended to all readers who are interested in reading about facts or fiction. It is also recommended to those who would like to relive their youth through the beaming characters and experience the energy and the life they have in them. While this energy would remind them of their old days, it would also trace the fine line that the author has drawn in the different phases of life where one phase is of happy days, followed by the sad days and eventually getting down to the serious business of the life that follows later. This also ensures that the book is not limited in relevance to any single age group and reaches out to all readers with the elder and younger and ensures that there is something or the other for every reader to read. Enjoy. Look forward to our relief. Thank you.